Welcome to LMB Show and Tell, take one. This is a uh, de-stash, and I am assuming that I'm going to need like, I don't know, maybe 12 or 14, 15 takes in order to get it right. But I'm going to try to run through this as quickly as possible. I have three piles that I want to uh, sell. And I was thinking about cutting up papers and putting them in my Etsy store or doing it on eBay, but I figured I'd go to YouTube first and see what happens. What I'm going to do is not list any prices. Uh, if you're interested in any of these um, or uh, just want to know what the price is, you are going to determine the price. So make me an offer and then I will go figure out shipping for wherever you are and I'll go get a box because some these are 12 by 12 papers and uh, then if you want to purchase it fine if not eBay or the Etsy shop so let's get started the first is a favorite of mine this is an old lady couture stack I've never seen anything like this before or since. It originally came with 48 papers. I think this must be at least four or five years old. I found on eBay one sheet of paper and it was going for $1.50 plus shipping. So I, I think this is a good buy for someone. <clears throat> I'm offering, I have left 23 pages. This is my favorite sheet. I only have one left of this. And the paper is, as you can see, it says um, um, half of, came with high gloss paper. And this is one of the high gloss. And there's a half a sheet of this polka dot. So let me go through it real quickly. Look at that hound's tooth. Cute. This is a high gloss. Love that. High gloss, high gloss. This is one-sided paper. This is high gloss, high gloss. This is really cute. Again, high gloss, high gloss. This is plain, plain. This is very thick paper. High gloss. This is really darling. I really like this, but I really don't have any use for it. And it's been sitting in my closet for so long. Here we go again with this. This is really cool. I can see seeing doing some kind of a notebook with this. Let me get with the pink. This is on eBay, $1.50 each. This is the pink polka dot, leopard, and this. Look at this. Containing beautiful people. Love that, love that. So let me know. That's number one. Number two is lost and found. So let me show you what I've got. I used to love lost and found, and I still think their papers are beautiful, but I really don't buy much of it anymore. Instead, I'm more of a graphic 45 kind of gal and Kaiser Craft. So um, this is what I have. First of all, I have chipboard. So there are holes over here and it comes with the rings. Cute. Oh, I guess this is the front. Cute, huh? And lost and found the papers that I have left that I never used are those with the glitter, which I really don't like. These are some extra pages. I mean, just little pieces. And then this, I added the butterflies just because it was in the pile. I have a couple of things that are not lost and found. This is Making Memories, Glitter. This is Sweet Romance, the See-Through Ruler Company. Never heard of them, but this is, um, what is it called? It's fuzzy. Flocked, flocked, flocked. Butterflies. Uh, this is Recollections. This is very, very heavy paper. This again is, is uh, Recollections. Glitter, nice size. Recollections, lots of glitter. 
And these are the lost and found. Now these are double sided. Polka dots. The same one. This is really cute. I think this is really cute, huh? And this is Recollections again. It's quite nice, isn't it? Maybe I should keep it. Hounds too? No, no. I'm getting rid of all of this. I have two of these. This is very nice. I like this. If I was doing layouts on 12 by 12, I would keep something like this. But since I don't, oh, and this is love. I like that, love. Okay, so let me tell you what also comes in this wonderful pile. This. <laughs> okay, let's start over here. These are okay, seven. These have never been opened. So these are kind of label stickers, stickers, labels. These are their chipboard, three-dimensional. I have ribbon, the Great Southern, cute. This would be used for Christmas. I have buttons. And then these are tags. So each one was sold individually. I want to remember, dream big. These would be cute for cards. Can you see? Okay, let's go on. You get the idea. And then I have, these are an assortment of missing. But they're not all missing because I have a nice pile in here of tags, chipboard. These are all chipboard that fell off or out of these um, sticker sheets. And then unfortunately here's Lost and Found. I have an alphabet and it is complete. So that would be really cute. Okay, so that was lot two, which is Lost and Found. Now, my last lot, let me show you. I had, I'm just gonna show you. I had made this, this was a different video where I, this was the um, book from, uh, receipt book from the Dollar Tree. And I love it, I'm using it, it's wonderful, great. <laughs> This is my favorite item I've ever purchased from the Dollar Tree because it's really helped me organize. Okay, so the paper I use, let me show it to you, get over here. It is from Amy Butler and this was called Lotus. And I have leftovers and that's what I'm going to get rid of. Let me show you. The 12 by 12 papers, I have a total of how much? I have 10. 10 of these. These are double sided. They're great. The color is fabulous. They're really, really fun. Almost retro kind of Art Nouveau ish kind of papers. So I have 12, 10 of those. And then what I did was to. Oh, wait. Wait a second, folks. And then I have assorted leftovers. I have all of these leftovers, as you can see, that comes with it. So you really can make something out of those. What I found is from Basic Gray, put out about the same time as the Amy Butler line. It was a line called Periphery, and it's the same colors. So what I have, I have... I guess what I was planning on doing is making a six by six, and I never did that. So I cut up a lot of the uh, the Amy Butler and six by six sheets. I uh, added some plain ones, and then these are the periphery, as you can see. They're really sweet, aren't they? They're they're single sided, but um, there are a total of seventeen. There are three solids, and there are 11 of the um, Amy Butler. So you've got enough to make a couple of nice uh, six by six if you want. In addition, I have the leftover ribbon, just three. 
I have three of the chipboard tags from Amy Butler. And this is really cute. This, this slides. Make me shine, make me giggle. Isn't that cute? I like that. I have some little tags that I made up, never used, and of course they're all double-sided. Let's see, we have, oh, this can, I was going to make flowers, so I cut out all these flowers. And I used the Tim Holtz, so you could really make some uh, nice flowers. And because they're double-sided, you can use whichever side you want. In addition, the last thing, and I don't even know how many I have of these, these are the little die cut. Look at all of these. Some of them are like journaling. Look at family and friends. Flowers. And so it's a combination of Amy Butler and a Periphery, because this came from Periphery. But I think they're really, I love your smile. Cute, huh? Okay, so that's it folks. There are a total of three different lots. If you're interested, please just send me a comment or a personal comment. Let me know if you're interested in what price you are willing to uh, offer. And I will get back to you. And if nobody wants it, fine. <laughs> it'll go on eBay, but it'll be a lot more expensive and I hope everyone's doing well and the person who inspired me was Roxy from Roxy Fur because I saw her de-stash and it made me think that I've got a lot of stuff and this is just the beginning. I've got a lot more stuff that I'm going to be offering so if this succeeds. So take good care. I hope everyone is well and uh, big hugs from the beehive. Bye!